Yes, I. What's up, family? Welcome back to Mogi's Corner. My name is Mogi, and thank you for taking our time to watch this video. In this video, I'm going to take you and show you the source of the Nile. Oh, I should take that statement back, the supposed source of the Nile. So uh, the reason why I took the first statement back is uh, I have a bit of an issue uh, with uh, saying that this is the source of the Nile. That's the first issue I have. Because um, to be fair, it is said that uh, this is the source of the Nile, the one I'm about to show you. But, uh, you know, I've been there once and uh, all I saw was a gush of water coming from under the ground. And then I don't believe that that is enough to conclude that, that uh, it is the source of the Nile. There has to be more to it. And then the other issue is, you know, with lakes and with, uh, with lakes, there, there is, there has to be an, uh, an inlet. I don't know the, uh, the actual term that it's used, but uh, there has to be an inlet and an outlet. So my own proposition is that the source of River Nile is Lake Victoria. And then uh, there's, other, there's other people who argue that the source of River Nile is in uh, Rwanda. Uh, since uh, they, uh, they claim that River Nile begins in Rwanda. Uh, since there is River Kagera that drains into Lake Victoria and then the River Nile starts from um, at this point of Lake Victoria. But anyway, my own proposition is that the source of River Nile is not this actual point which uh, we were made to believe that or that is uh, that they tell us it is that it is the source of the Nile. I think the source of River Nile is Lake Victoria. I strongly believe that and uh, the other is just uh, made up made up stories. Anyway, we're down here people and we're going to try and find out. So I'm going to be asking some questions and uh, hopefully I'll be able to meet some people who will help me understand is this really the source of River Nile? Ah, uh, we're here people. So it includes, I have to take a boat and go all the way to the point that they say is the source of the Nile. And uh, I'm gonna head over there and see what I want. I said I have a few issues about this place. The second issue is, they
continue i'm gonna head around and show you this little area there is vendors all over the place selling things there is a bar uh, you can buy some foods you can buy a drink you can buy some merchandise yeah man what's this Ripon Falls Leisure Resort Limited. I don't know what that's about, but anyway, this is the place, people. Right over there is a, a liquor restaurant, I think, and bar. And then this is where the vendors are. They're selling some some nice crafts, uh, merchandise some nice fabrics from Uganda man yeah people listen you all need to come down to the source of the Nile and see just to promote local tourism and things buy from the local people yeah for example look at this happy marriage it's a nice message people it's a message to them uh, to the married people you can buy some some flags Ugandan flag and that some jewelry as well for the ladies and then nice dresses as well over here some nice cakes you can grab yourself some of those so yeah right now i'm headed to the other side where um you can take a a boat see a lot of people who who are not from here coming out to to check the source of the Nile and then there's something here Mahatma Gandhi statue maintained by Bank of Baroda let's go and see Mahatma Gandhi statue here are people taking you on a tour of the supposed source of the Nile I told I already told you I don't believe that shit I think it's utter bollocks This is Gandhi. Wow. Mahatma Gandhi, universal post of peace and non-violence, whose ashes were immersed in the River Nile in 1948. Oh, so yeah, man. I've been questioning myself why we have a why we have a statue of Mahatma Gandhi in this area. And uh, yeah, that's it on the portrait. It's written that the ashes of Mahatma Gandhi were immersed in River Nile. That's why we have a statue of him right here. So this is the little area where you can catch a boat and, and head over to to the supposed source of the Nile. And these are the prices. Hmm. Source of the Nile boat rates. Short trip 100, medium trip 200, long trip 300. Wow. Yes, people. So I like water, I like going on a boat. Yes, people, it's time to take the boat and go see the supposed source of the Nile, man. Um, okay. No, no jacket? Come oh, on, I need my jacket still. So the last time I took a, took a boat, there was no life jackets on. The excuse was it is a Sunday. They don't give life jackets on a Sunday. I hope it's different here. Yeah, man. I got my own. Okay. Yes. Let's, let's trap it on. And go see this fraud, man. I think, I think it's a fraud, man. Okay, it's time to go on the boat. How are you, sir? Good. Would you like to chat to me? I'm a, 
I'm a YouTube content creator. Ah, okay, okay. Okay? Yes. Okay. Nice one. So all right. So I got I got my man here who I'm going to chat to. Yes. Yes, I. So uh, tell the people your name. My name is Robert. I'm from Austria. Robert from Austria. Yes. And, uh, long way. It's a very long way. Uh, which uh, was your local town in Austria? Austria. Vienna. Oh. Vienna. 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 Sound of Music. You know that? No, Good I movie. don't. Movie. Very famous mu music. Okay. Very interesting, man. So, what brings you here today? So, I was on business in uh, Kampala, and so and I'll spend now the weekend here. Uh, and fly back on Monday, so I thought to what get out would, of eh? Kampala and uh, discover the beaches of the country, you know, okay, at least man. one one spot. And, uh, yeah, man. Okay, obviously we're about to go and see the supposed source of the Nile, yeah? Yes, and, okay, uh, you say supposed. You? <laughs> yeah. No, I'll tell you why I say, uh, I don't believe this is the source uh, of the Nile, that's okay. number one. And, uh, so they cheat on me here. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> so they right. cheat on me here because that is the source of the night. Okay, so <laughs> I'll give you my reason. This is said to be the source of the night. Yes. And obviously they will have their reasons, but I have my reasons too to disbelieve yes. that this is, I don't think this is the source of the yes. night. Okay. And I'll tell you why. So uh, the reason why is um, you, you, you've never been down here before? No. Okay. First so, time. The reason why I believe it's not the source of the Nile is uh, it's a little gush of water coming down from somewhere. Yes. And then that's it. Yeah. For me, I'm not convinced that uh, uh -huh. a, a small, you know, gush of water coming from yes. the ground yes. is enough to produce all the water yeah. to, 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 to make the River Nile. Yeah. I strongly believe that Lake Victoria uh -huh. is the source of River Nile. I mean, actually, it seems very obvious that it is the case, you know, because as I said, it's such an amount of money right mm -hmm. at the source, it cannot be just yeah, the it, source it, in the, somewhere in the middle. Yeah, and uh, number two now, it is said that a, one gentleman from Britain yes. discovered the source of the Nile. Do you know who that is? Uh, who was it? Okay, so. It is say that uh, John Speak. Ah, uh, John Speak, yes, right. Yeah, yes. discovered the source of the Nile. Uh -huh. I disagree with that too. Ah, uh, okay. You know why? <laughs> no? Okay, so. You never he... came here? Well, I don't know. Ah, uh, you don't Maybe know. he did, maybe not. Ah, uh, okay. We just believe stories. But uh, okay. anyway, my reason is before John Speak uh, showed up in town in the 1980s, yes. or oh, sorry, 1880s, yes. there was people living in this area yeah. okay and they would have seen this this spot that is right. said to be uh, the source of river yeah. Nile. so and uh, I strongly believe that it's uh, uh, a way to discredit the local people who ah, live okay. here okay uh, and then attribute all the, uh, uh -huh. the, the the hard work and yes. I mean to give credit to yes. other people than the yeah. early inhabitants of yeah. this area what are your thoughts on that no I guess it's been only can never really prove where people have been, you know, and uh, of course, uh, a number of people at the time coming from Europe claimed, you know, that they were discovering the world, uh, although, of course, many people really lived <coughs> where they supposedly discovered something. So, oh, and of course, there are no real, of men, not always real proofs that they have been at the place where they supposedly have been or have done things which they had supposedly done. Which is unfair still. Because yes, yes. before before they claim that there are people living in that area, why not attribute the findings to the yes. local people? Yeah, there? yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, I totally agree. <laughs> okay, man. So, uh, how has been your business trip in Uganda? Very good, very good, very interesting. Okay, would you yeah. recommend people to come down of to course. Uganda? Yeah, yeah, no, I just unfortunately I only have got three days at my disposal to discover a little, a little bit the beauty of the country, but I've seen there are many places to go to. Uh, and hopefully next time I will have more time and uh, go to many other places here in Uganda. Absolutely. So yeah, man, send a message to all your uh, fellow countrymen back in Australia. Oh, Tell Austria. them to come down. Austria. 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 <laughs> there are no Australia. kangaroos in Austria, as you know. <laughs> I, I don't no know problem. that. <laughs> oh, okay, so yeah. one, send a message to the people. Call them to come down. And yeah, visit. please. Uh, 
We love Austrians. Come and explore Uganda. Very nice place to be. Lots of nature like in Austria, but of course very differently. Absolutely. So, Absolutely. See you soon here. All great right. people around. Very great people. So I'm uh, going to head over and chat to uh, my man over here. He seems to uh, work in this area and would, uh, he will help me. I have questions, man, and I'm looking for answers. Yes. Okay. Place, man. Thank you. Thank pleasure. you. So, um, okay, so I have a brother here. Yeah. Hi, Francis. My man, Francis, how's it going? That's good. Um, and, uh, yeah, man. Yeah, the place is nice, as you can see. You're from this area, right? And yeah, uh, you operate? Yeah, I'm tour guide. Okay, my man Francis is, is a tour guide and uh, I, I trust that he will have uh, some answers to the questions that I have and probably uh, you have the same concerns. Listen, Francis, my first concern is this place we're about to see the source of the Nile. Yeah, this, uh, this is a uh, Nile. Mm -hmm. And we are about to get rid the source, then you see where the Nile begins from. Because uh, this water actually, if you go at the source, you find that uh, we have some water, okay, a certain percentage of the water that comes from under the ground. Mm -hmm. Then the rest of the water comes from the ground. Yeah, man. So, uh, and I strongly believe that much of the water comes from uh, Lake Victoria, right? Yeah, I'll be right. So, why is this, uh, this, uh, this area touted as the source of the Nile? Talk yeah. to me. Yeah, why? Why? Because the source, because that's where the water begins to flow from. Because uh, if you go there, you find that you are the source. That's where, you know, source means the beginning of something begins from. Because uh, when you go at that very point, you see how the movement of the water begins from. So it begins to flow. The rest, the other side of it is the lake, and the lake water does not flow. So that's why we say that now the other is a the lake. Then the meeting point between the two. Uh, it's where where the meeting point is where now the water begins to flow from there and that's now we declare that the river or the source of river Nile. So it's now the source where we are going. Actually we shall observe physically. Nice one, nice one. My man says that uh, at this point that we're about to see the water comes from the ground and thus it starts to flow. And uh, the other water that's uh, supposedly from the lake does not flow. I kind of disagree with that. I think the water flows because if you know uh, uh, the idea of inlets and outlets, for most of the fresh freshwater lakes, there is an inlet and an, an outlet. Yeah. Or, uh, so yeah. in this case, uh, you know River Kagera from uh, Rwanda. Rwanda. Yeah. That is that is regarded as one of the inlets into Lake Victoria, true. and uh, River Nile is one of the outlets. So yeah, clearly the water from Lake Victoria flows into Lake Victoria uh, or oh, I'm sorry into River Nile. Yeah. Am I right? Am I fair when I say that? Yeah, that's true. Okay, so uh, th that has been cleared. So uh, what do you say to uh, some people who say that uh, the source of River Nile is in uh, somewhere in Rwanda? Yeah. Why do you why do you think they say that and uh, what's your reaction to that? Yeah, anyway, uh, it's true. Some people who come here, they come from Rwanda and also different parts of the world. They claim that the source is not here, it's in Rwanda. Yeah, one thing that we have to know that when you're here, uh, this is where the water begins to flow from. Now, if you go to Rwanda, this is the inlet, the water, Rwanda feeds Lake Victoria. Then also, though we have also other type of uh, uh, inlets, like uh, we have uh, Katonga, we have other water channel bodies that feed the Victoria. So all those are source of Lake Victoria. Because without those channels, there's no Lake Victoria water can exist. So what we do, since they feed the lake, we, it just ends the lake. So when now the water actually reaches, okay, when the water comes up to here, where it's separated from the river Nile, that's where it begins to flow. They, we don't believe with them because the river Kakira just pours water into the lake, then ends there. But they have a belief that it went, that it pours water into the lake. Then they believe also they also saw so river Nile because that water comes all away from uh, that point, uh, from uh, Rwanda through Lake Victoria to River Nile. So they also have a belief that the source is right over there. So, but which is not true. They believe that it just powers ends there, 
then water begin the wedding to since this is the, uh, the separation or the inlet or also the outlet of Lake Victoria when it joins the river Nile then now that's when it's going to begin to flow one thing that when it goes to Lake Victoria it just ends there there's no sign to show that it's flowing direct up to this point so why we say this is the source because the movement of the water begins from here the other side the water is still so that's the lake they just went Nice one, nice one. We're getting some education people from uh, your name, Francis. So, from Mr. Francis, yeah. So, Mr. Francis, my second point of concern is, uh, you know, about the guy called John uh, John Speak. Okay. So, this guy is said to have discovered the source of River Nile. Okay. Do you think that story is, is, is true? Do you concur with that? Uh, one thing that he, yes, uh, that's written down that he, John Speak uh, discovered. But one thing we need to see that he, we try to fight it is that he, source of River Nile was there ever since. And we had here local people who knew about it. Actually, the local people are the one which, who guided uh, this man to the source of River Nile. And he also to be known okay, for him to recognize, to know, to discover. But one thing that you have to consider the local people are here, and for him, we say that he was the first white man to see. But we always yeah, correct that. But though there were local people here who saw it, who discovered it before. So for him, when he came, he was guided by the local people, then he came and saw the source of River Nile. So we remember him the first white man to come and see but don't, I don't believe that he discovered yeah man so uh, that's, 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 that's one of my propositions I think uh, the reason this is done to kind of in a way discredit the local people who are black people who uh, may have if this is for sure the source of river Nile if we are to take it uh, that way it's a way to, to kind of discourage the, the findings and the, the works of the local people who lived in this area and uh, and also you will you will know that uh, this guy John Speak was sent by uh, by an organization of explorers from uh, Britain uh -huh, the Royal Geographic thank you so much so uh, it's a way to kind of and then the credits go to the authorities who are which is uh, the king or the queens of the uh, British Empire at that time right yeah so i think it's it's uh, it's unfair to kind of take away uh what really belongs to the black people and then credit it to the other people who don't look like us uh, and this is not uh this is not hate this is not uh you know in any way some kind of um i don't know prejudice or something this is to claim what is really and truly ours okay yeah. You don't, you don't see black people going anywhere and uh, take credit for things in other people's life. Okay, so I'm not anti-white, I'm not anti other people, I love every people. And uh, this is just me, this is, these are my thoughts. Okay. Yeah man, so listen, we're here for education. What, uh, what should uh, my viewers, what should uh, my family, know about uh, this place we are about to see. Actually, we have reached, but uh, what I'm saying about this place, this is uh, the only river in the world, and uh, actually the, the source is in Uganda, and it's the only source of River Nile. So I encourage them to come and see the source, because that source of River Nile is a great place, serving as strong water. Actually, we have reached at that point, as they can see. Okay. Yeah, this water is coming from under the ground. 30% of the water, as I told you, come from under the ground. So this one, that's why you see the, it's very strong here. There's a lot of current here. Okay. Yeah, so. Uh, hold on, hold on. Oh, yeah. So, you can come. <clears throat> so, as we can see around, uh, one thing that you, what's happening there? That's uh, spring water from under the ground. Okay. Where you're seeing uh, what's that? Uh, because uh -huh. yeah, one this, this, yeah this part, yeah, yeah this part. Is, yeah. In fact, all this part, but immediately you can see what is there. Uh -huh. So we say that the source of River Nile is there. Why? Because that's the 
Uh, as I told you earlier on that the certain percent of the water come from under the ground, which is this point. Uh -huh. Then the rest of the water come from lake, which I'll be going the other side, which is the lake. Uh -huh. Now, when you see that one thing that the level of the water is too high, those days the level of the water was too low, so you could uh, see the spring jumping like a fountain at this oh, very really? point. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. much more water right now? Yeah, there's so, so much. Whenever it's a rainy season, uh -huh. the level okay. of the water tends to be so, so high. Uh -huh. So, so high. So now it's high. And okay. the, yeah, we believe. Why you don't see. Yeah, why you don't see the fountain now? But we believe that maybe when uh, t time come when the level of the water comes down, uh -huh. we'll be able to see, regain back our spring, as okay. you can see. Yeah. yeah. But basically, at this this point, the water goes for around 4,000 miles, as I told you, or 600, 400 kilometers, mm -hmm. or it's uh, taking like three months. Now, if you drop something here, it will take three months okay. for it to move okay. up to the uh -huh. uh, Mediterranean Sea. Okay. Finally, yeah. So also, one thing that if you know that this is the White Nile, so the White Nile is the longest, it goes through, then it meets with the Blue Nile, which comes from Ethiopia in Sudan, then all flow to the Mediterranean Sea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but this one is long, and it's the longest in the whole world. So, we, and here where you're seeing at this very point, so it's not all that deep, so here it's around 10 to 15 meters down. Uh -huh. Yeah, around there. So the, if you try to go there, there's a process of the water that comes from under the ground, then uh -huh. pushes you away. Because you cannot access the real point of mm -hmm. the Nile because of that. Yeah. So, also uh, here, when you go around, or when you find that uh, uh, some people are swimming around here and they can swim, but those days they use no, because the level of the water was so high, so it could uh, okay. uh, like but push you away. It's lower, I mean, uh, depending on the season or depending on the time of the uh, year? Depending on the season. Okay. Yeah. So it's now it's the time of the highest it's high. level. It's so, and so. when it is low in half a year's time or when is it low? When will it yeah, it's the low during... Okay. Uh, yeah. But when? I mean, in a couple of months? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so... How is that, much lower? Okay. It goes down to four or five meters down. Four, this four one, meters down? Yeah. From here? I mean, four meters? Yeah, down here. As yeah. you can see, this place used to be... Actually, this place used to be an island. The rocks ah, okay. were exposed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, they were exposed, so we could move on this island up to the other point. Ah, okay. Yeah, but now, because of the water level, ah, okay. yeah, being so high, that's why it's looking like this. Ah. Here has to be a lot of huts going on, okay. like uh, people had their business, running on business, ah, okay. like craft shops, like uh, um, ah. the, uh, the beer, yeah. restaurants, yeah. So you can see even that electric power, so they could use the electric power for running our business around here yeah so as what you're seeing here it's true yeah so um mm -hmm. this blue thing used to sit on the middle yeah. the water inside there yeah, yeah but uh, due to the water level increasing uh -huh. so it now the island is no longer there but this is the island where people are standing so people could take photos from that okay. very point yeah uh -huh. yeah so the house we are standing on also used to sit on the ground, mm -hmm. but they raised it up because of the water level. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it really, this water level when mm -hmm. came up, it really affected this place. Mm -hmm. And also there are places around the water, the Nile, all around the lake. Because mm -hmm. still the, all the level of the water come very high, it's at the very point. So yeah, the signpost here, yes. the one there, is the one you're seeing there. You used to sit on the ground. So we removed it from there because and we tried here because it was uh, getting, it been taken by the water. Yeah. Yeah, so okay. removed it from the water in the middle there where it used to be an island, then we had to put it at that very point. So that's why we are for that. So we shall be taking photos from that very point, uh, showing that you have been at the source of the river. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, maybe you want to say something? Yeah, man. This has been Francis, our tour guide, giving us. Uh, a little background and uh, information about uh, the source of river nile and things and then yeah man you can see many people are coming down to see the source of river nile okay and uh yeah man i think you all need to come down it's an interesting phenomenon uh he says that uh, at that point we really can't see we can't see the magic happening but uh, it's exactly at that point where you see the camera. If you look closely, you can see that uh, it gives an impression of water gasping from the ground. And uh, that's where the source of the river Nile is said to be. But uh, you know, man, as I, 
as I say, I, I don't, I don't agree because this is just uh, one point. Okay, so I'm trying to zoom in to kind of show you. And uh, the tour guide Francis also said that um, the water, the tide is up, the tide is high up. That's, that's one of the reasons why we can't see a fountain, but uh, when the tide goes down, uh, a fountain is, is seen. A fountain is seen at that point of water gasping out of the ground. And uh, I mean, clearly man, clearly people, my, my understanding and my argument is, uh, has been confirmed by the tour guide Francis that, uh, look, only 30% of the water comes from the ground and the rest of the water comes from River Nile, as you may see. So uh, from that point right there onto into that direction, that's River Nile. And then we can see that there is water flowing from this side, which is supposed to be where the lake starts, okay? So if you look at uh, this other side where the boats are parked, that's water flowing from the lake side. And uh, yeah, man, so much of the water comes from Lake Victoria and uh, feeding into River Nile. So people. Okay, but there's one big source now down, down here. Uh, here, I don't think there was only two. The current over here and then over there. Over yeah, yeah. There is the current. So. Yeah, yeah, it used to be a real current. So could you jump? I mean, it's such a huge yeah, source, to... you know, because I mean, if you say it's 30 percent, yeah, 30 percent, uh, so 70 percent coming off Lake Victoria. Yeah. I mean, it seems there's lots of water out of Lake Victoria, and yeah. uh, you cannot really see how much water comes yeah. out of the source. No? Yeah, because the the rest of the water actually, much of it comes from Lake. You're yeah, right. Yeah, but I mean, then... if it's 30 percent, there needs to be a lot of water, you know. Coming yeah, but out see, the... not only here. Yeah. In fact, all area up to the ah, other okay. point. Are you seeing the other this point? This was my question. Is yeah. that just one source? Uh, no, 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 no. There are different sources. Yeah, Otherwise, there are different not... at this point. Yeah, it's only only the river Nile, yeah, or is only, it only, only the river any river other? Nile. Only the river Nile. Okay. So, only out of yeah. okay. so it's, uh, here we are at the lowest level of the lake. So you say that the water streams. education so right now wow look at that boat look at that boat man filled up with tourists and uh, the most exciting thing it's uh they're local tourists man so it's very you know it's very encouraging and uh, very very good for local tourism let the people come and see their country and then that also uh, sir, he recommends that you sit here. We are leaving the Nile. We are joining Lake Victoria. Yeah. We're then. Yeah. We are leaving the Nile and we are now going toward Lake Victoria. And Lake Victoria actually uh, is the second largest in the whole world. Then also in Africa is the largest. The first largest lake freshwater body actually is in the US. That's Lake Superior. Yeah, then this is the second fresh uh, water body, the largest in the world. So you find that eh, Lake Victoria goes through different countries. That's Uganda, Kenya, Tanzania. So we share this lake. And we, we all believe that eh, uh, Lake Victoria still, it goes up to Kampala, actually, in the case you want to go there, you can still go. Yeah. Right over there in front there, we have Peninsula. 
uh, peninsula is the part that you find that some part of, part of the land is on, near in the stretch to the water. Then the rest are on the, can connect to the uh, to the land. So that's why you see. So when we get to Lake Victoria, the deepest part of Lake Victoria is around 80 meter, 83 meters down. Then also, uh, but here is shallow because uh, most in, is near the the ground is near the showers. If you go behind this hill, the other side of it, you find that uh, the larger part of Lake Victoria is behind that hill. Yeah, so when you go the other side, you cannot see the other side of it. So it will be, it's a uh, very too, too large. Yeah. Then also Lake Victoria still, uh, it also, since it uh, has many, a uh, lot of uh, people around, and then people who are operating around the water, it's good for fishing. The people you see around there, they are fishermen, they are trying to fish. We have different kind of fish around. We have Nile perch, we have tilapia, then also we have uh, silver fish. Those are the common type of fish. Then also we have uh, uh, mud fish, cut fish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so all of them you find in around the water body, all what around would River you Nile. Recommend to eat? What's the best fish? Oh, yeah, now that one depends on some of the taste, but uh, we always consider tilapia. Tilapia. Yeah, okay. it's a nice one. But in Nile Patch is big, it can even go to three, four hundred kilometers, many kilos. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh. So it's very, very large and it's heavy. So but with the uh, Nile Patch doesn't grow very big, it goes to three, four kilometers. Yeah, like the other one three hundred, but this one three, yeah, kilos. Yeah. So that's why the yeah, but so these people are now looking for where you see they know all the spots where the fish is. So that's why you see most of them. Now they're around there. So they know that the uh, fish, mm -hmm. maybe the time where the fish has laid the eggs, there are a lot of fish around there. Then they'll be going there to pick the, the fish. Yeah. So in front of us there, there is a ginger pot. Why are you seeing the blue, white? That's the ginger pot. The pot we share between Kenya, Tanzania, and Uganda. So in the case somebody want to go to Kenya or Tanzania, it's possible that you go to the ginger pot. Then they take you to Kenya or Tanzania. So you find that you take the route there, then you go to Kenya or, uh, or, 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 or Tanzania. So since we share this water body, so that's why you see. So that's a lake. That water is not moving. It's a river that flows. Yeah. Anyone? Yeah. So. Okay, it's okay. So Austria is a good country. Oh yeah, we have, you have good country. We also got lakes, you know, but very really tricky, you know. So as a, though we are a landlocked country, so without access to the sea, okay. we're only having lakes. We've got Olympic champions in sailing. Ah. ah. The reason is that the winds on our lakes, we can learn to sail, are very tricky. Also, we need to be very skilled to be able to navigate under those conditions and that is obviously very helpful for uh, also sailing at the high seas because you know you need to judge you know where the wind comes and to react immediately so interestingly enough you know though we are a landlocked country we have got the Olympia champions uh, in sailing which normally takes place at the seas ah. so uh, what, what, tell us uh, examples of those lakes in Australia Austria Australia. Oh. Uh, why do I keep going yeah, back to Australia? No, no, a much bigger oh, country, sorry. you know. Austria. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, Austria. I'm no, it's got the, the largest one is the Bodensee, which we share with Switzerland and Germany. Okay. And then there's another lake uh, to the east of the country, which we share with Hungary. That's the Neusiedler Sea. And then we've got uh, a couple of very nice, but relatively small lakes compared to Lake Victoria. That's the Traunsee, for example, the Wolfgang. See the Grundl Sea, which are small ones, but can be very, very deep and, of course, very, very cold. Okay. Because we are a mountainous country. And uh, yeah, uh, so what, uh, what, 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 um, what season is it uh, in Australia? Is Austria. it winter? 
<laughs> I'm not going to, to say that again. Yeah, no problem. You know, we are used to that, you know, mixing of Austria and Australia. Yeah, so we always look forward to mail. You know, nowadays it's email, so it's not much of a problem right now. Okay. But in the past, we received quite a lot of mail you know, for Australia and vice versa. Yeah. So, yeah, what... Uh, is it winter now? Is it no, 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 it's it? spring. It's spring. Ah, okay. So we are turning in right slowly into summer. Summer. Yes. Okay. Yeah, man. So do you see uh, do you see any kind of similarities here in Uganda and uh, Australia? No, the, the, the basic uh, common thing which we share, we are both landlocked countries. Okay. And so also you have uh, you have a lake which you share between. Yes, we all other the, countries. Yes, yes, that yes. is similar to yeah, Victoria. Right, right. We shared in the Tanzania exactly. and um, Kenya as well. Yeah. So Very we all get the same thing with the Bodensee, which we share with Germany and Switzerland. And those are three countries sharing the same thing. Yeah, man. So, but of course the climate is different. You know, we are much further to the north, so we've got four different seasons. Lots of snow in the winter. Uh, and the summers can, because of climate change, become pretty hot right now. Very yes. hot. Yeah, not very hot. I mean, it depends. I mean, not as hot as it is in many countries in Africa. But I mean, for our uh, conditions, um, it, it, it can get 35 to 40 degrees on some days, some of which we are not used to. Ah, yeah, man, it's been an expedition. Yes, yes. Going to see it. Uh, source of the Nile and then back so we have come to the end of our tour and uh, yeah man you need to come down and see for yourself and uh, it's pretty interesting very amazing to see water coming from under the ground and uh, all of that yeah man it's been a ride thank you for watching this video Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like the video, leave a comment, and uh, peace. We out.